close your eyes and focus on your breath. No one is coming in, no one is going out. And allow the breath to be comfortable. Nobody forces us to breathe in an uncomfortable way, and yet we allow it to happen, usually because we're paying attention to something else. So pay attention to the breath, give it some time, give it some space to see what kind of breathing really feels best right now. This is a way of showing goodwill for yourself. And when you show goodwill for yourself like this, it's easier to have goodwill for others. As the Buddha said, one of the ways of releasing the mind from suffering is developing goodwill. Universal goodwill, not just for yourself, but for everybody. Not just for the people you like, but for everybody. doesn't mean you have to like people, you just wish that they not suffer. When you see somebody that you may have may have wronged you, you have to think about, okay, this person if this person suffers, it's not gonna go back and undo the wrong that they did. And it's certainly not gonna make them behave in a better way. So may they be happy. May this person find your happiness. In other words, may this person learn how to act in a way that's truly happy. Goodwill is not like a magic wand where you just touch people on the head and hope that they be happy. You also hope that they understand the causes for true happiness. Now, if they can't, that's some, an area where you have to develop equanimity. But it's important for you to develop goodwill at all times. It's a protection for yourself and for the people around you. The protection for yourself is to protect you from your own bad karma. If you find yourself thinking thoughts of ill will to other people, wishing they might suffer, wishing they might fall into misery or have some setback, what kind of intention is that? What kind of intention are you acting on? And if you keep thinking in those ways, as the Buddha says, it becomes a tendency of the mind. Or what in modern terms we say it's like a rut in the road. The deeper the rut gets, the harder it is to get out. And so if you start thinking about how much you don't like that person, how much you want this person to suffer, you feel really good, feel really gratifying to see them suffer just a little bit. That's not a skillful thought. And certain when you let unskillful thoughts take over the mind, you're going to suffer as well. And when unskillful thoughts get in the mind, then you can't trust your own actions. And other people can't trust your actions. So in this way, goodwill is a, is a protection for yourself. Someone once asked me, she was going through a divorce, and I'd recommend that she spread goodwill not only to her husband, but also to the other woman. And she said, but isn't that giving them more power? And I said, no, it's putting you above them, putting you above your unskillful thoughts. And that way, when you come from a position of goodwill, wishing for other people's true happiness, then no matter what you do or say or think, it's bound to be a lot more reliable, bound to be a lot safer. So for your own sake, Try to develop thoughts of goodwill for everybody. Again, this doesn't mean you have to like them, and it doesn't mean you have to get involved with people you know are harmful. If you see they're harmful, you just keep your distance. There's a chant in the canon where the monks are advised to spread goodwill to snakes. Now, this is not because they want snakes to come around and join the monks in the meditation. As it, as it says at the end, may you all meet with good fortune, and may everybody be happy. May you go away now, leave me alone. There are cases where people, in order to be happy, have to live separately have to live apart. But goodwill means that even though you're living apart, you wish that person well. You don't want them to suffer. And if you find out that they really are suffering, there's something you can do about it, you want to help. You learn how to forgive other people for the wrong they've done. Forgive yourself for the wrong you've done. And this way, when you live with forgiveness and goodwill, you're a lot safer. The people around you are a lot safer, and the world is a much better place in which to live. <laughs>